You're tuned in to 1048 M1 on 6.9 FM KDGR. Listen, I have my new best friend here. <laughs> I have my new best friend here. We're going to talk more in detail about who he is and why is he here. Now, every Friday you hear at 1 p.m. Rob Stern. And we actually go into detail. We're talking about mortgage solutions and all kinds of stuff as it relates to investments dealing with buying a home. And that's every Friday. We've been doing it for a very long time. Now, Rob always talks about his special friends in the office. Uh, he's connected to realtors. His office is pretty much a one-stop shop. Well, we have here today one of those special people. Let me tell you, he is amazing. All right. So we have the <laughs> Russ. I'm not going to mess up your last name. Uh, yeah, what's your last name? Amber. <laughs> Amber. I knew that because I said that people mess up my name, right? And they say Amber. They say Amber. So we have the Russ Ambers because we really want to go in more in depth uh, hearing about, you know, this purchase for a home. And you want, we have a realtor right here. So we're going to talk more in detail about what he has going on. So go ahead, tell us something about you. Thank you. Thank you. My name, good morning. My name is Russ Ambers and I am uh, responsible for a group of people called the Right Realty Team. And unlike other realty teams or realtors, yes, we list houses and yes, we sell houses, but my group also bills, remodels, the term flips, uh, we get homes ready, repair, we do different things, anything involving real estate is what we do. Um, and we've done it for a very, very long time. I've had two careers in this life. I've been uh, a pilot and now I've been a realtor and I'm coming up on 50 years of real estate. Wow. So. Uh, what we're going to do is take questions and yeah. try to answer questions involving real estate. And I've known Rob Stern and I've listened to his show for years, but I've known Rob and his family yeah. for we're closing in on 30 years now. So wow. Rob would tell you and I would tell you there's a process yeah. to owning a home. And a lot of people, yeah. because the process is a little overwhelming and no place in college does it <laughs> teach us how to buy a house 101. <laughs> Um, and because it's always changing, I get a lot of the questions on, well, you know, I've been renting for five or six years and, you know, I'm, I think I'm ready. And the point is there is a process that makes it very simple. We are blessed here, all of us, to be in Texas. Texas wants you in a house. Yeah. Um, there are so many programs available, whether you have a down payment or don't have a down payment, whether you're worried about your credit or not worried about your credit, whether you don't know the whole, Texas wants you and I in a house. Why? Because then we pay taxes. And Texas loves to collect our taxes. We have the best schools, we have great roads, we have so many things here and why people move here is because people own houses, pay taxes, and that's kind of the wheel of home ownership. Well, when you say Texas wants you in a house, and, and here's my thing, sure. you know, and I'm sure there are many people who think the way I do, then we say, well, then why is it so hard? If Texas wants us in a house, why is it so hard? Now, we think hard. For you, it may not be hard, <laughs> okay? But um, because you're the realtor and you understand the process. So uh, what would you say to someone who says, well, why is it so hard? Well, great question. So here's how I would answer it. First, I would say to you, if you're paying over $2,000 a month in rent, you need to be in a house. Mm. That's good. Without a doubt. And I, I'm not suggesting you're going to have to go from 2000 to three. That's not the case at all. If you're at $2,000 a month plus $100 up or down, you need to be in the house. Mm. And it really is a process, Autumn. Mm. And, and the process is something we don't learn through growing up because everybody's process would be different. Yeah. So here's how it works. The first thing I would suggest to anyone, visit with Rob. Get pre-approved. That's the first step. First step. We messed that up. <laughs> because the seller wants to know if you have money. Okay. So if we're going to make an offer, the first thing the seller is going to ask me for is can Autumn or anyone afford this house I'm selling to you? Okay. Rob will tell you that. If you say to Rob, right up, Rob, I don't have a lot of money for the down payment. Rob's going to find a program that helps you move in mm -hmm. with far less money out of pocket so that you have the opportunity not only to move in, but you don't wipe out your entire savings account to do it. That's Rob Stern. So spend 15, 20 minutes with Rob and Rob can help you get pre-approved. And that's the key to our world. You call me and say, Russ, Rob or the lender said I can afford up to X number of dollars and that keeps you on budget. 
And the whole idea for my team is we don't want to oversell anything. Mm. If your budget's $2,300 a month, we want to find a way to find you a home for $2,300 a month. So that you can stay on budget. So that's good. So we can, I can come in saying this is what I I don't want to spend more than you know because mine is eighteen hundred. All right. So could you help someone like me? In a minute. Mm. Anywhere in the Dallas and Fort Worth area. Mm. And I would take my calculator and put a little formula in and eighteen hundred. Just so you know, mm -hmm. eighteen hundred dollars a month. Mm -hmm. Principal the payment mm -hmm. buys about a two hundred and seventy five thousand dollar home. Wow. Wow. And you would say, because people say, well, are there two? Absolutely. All day, every but day. But then the other side of that is I have to be making enough money for that, of course. And then my credit. That's that's the next thing. The, the two things, all on the two things people ask me is they ask me about credit mm -hmm. and they ask me about I don't have money for the down payment. Mm. And my response is always this way. Texas has, through Rob, several grants, not okay. loans grants to help you with the down payment because grants is money you don't have to pay back right on hmm. and the only thing then i would negotiate for is your closing costs and if we can get texas to pay the grant for your down payment and me or my team to help you with closing costs you can move in for very little wow so the next thing is credit people ask me about credit and here's the deception in credit and the confusion if you had trouble getting a car Buying a house and buying a car are two different things. Mm -hmm. The car people know you can drive the car away, but the house people know where the house is. So <laughs> they, they look at you different when okay. you get credit for a house okay. as opposed to getting credit for a car. They look at you different when you get credit for a credit card okay. and when you get credit for a house. It's all a different process. Hmm. Well, is it easier or more difficult for like first time home buyers? Well, I think that. Part of what makes it difficult mm -hmm. is the uncertainty okay. of not knowing if I can really get a loan so that I can <laughs> really get a house. So, and I'm using Rob as an example because I've known him for years and I've never missed a loan with Rob. Everybody gotcha. he tells me can get a house, can get a house and that's very powerful that's because lenders sometimes say things and then they yeah okay so that said <laughs> we'll skip that so if rob says to me i here's autumn we need to stay under 300 she doesn't want to go over x number of dollars a month we're going to use and he gives me the name of the program i know exactly how to find autumn a house and rob goes and takes the loan through the underwriter mm -hmm. up front now the underwriter is the key to all this. The underwriter will determine whether they'll approve your loan. Most lenders wait till the end and then send the file to underwriting. Wow. Rob sends the file to underwriting up front. Wow. So when I pick up Autumn or Autumn meets me at a house, we already know Autumn can approve, uh, get approved for the house. We gotcha. know it up front. Gotcha. Well, here's the proof right here. We've been saying for the longest, uh, that you needed to visit with Rob first and that uh, he had friends who could help. Um, and so here's the proof right here. So we need to make sure that we are getting that pre-approval, pre, -approval, pre uh, all of that stuff in the beginning. <laughs> and then in the beginning. Uh, we talk to uh, Russ if Rob doesn't send us to you first. So I'm excited that you're uh, here thank you. to um, just kind of talk to us more in detail about uh, this housing market, this you know all of this because this is this is new for so many of us and uh rob and i like to say uh not to self-diagnose <laughs> because we listen to uncle bobo and aunt susan and cousin so-and-so who's saying a house that's not something you can accomplish that's not something you can do that's called self-diagnosing and so a lot of people just kind of wait by the wayside and just till whatever we pay rent forever 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 and you, we don't know that we can do this i had a uh this weekend I had some folks with me. Mm -hmm. uh, they pay two thousand dollars a month rent. Okay, that's twenty-four thousand dollars a year. They've been paying rent for five years. That's a that's close to a hundred thousand dollars. They bought a house for someone else. <laughs> for the landlord. Wow. Because you and I know this. If we rent, the rent's going up. As soon as the term ends, the rent's going up two hundred dollars a month, hundred dollars a month. That doesn't happen with a house. Wow. Not, you know. I, it gets confusing mm -hmm. because it's new. Because it's new. 
and it's something you've never done before, but if I say, and I do this all the time, mm -hmm. if you're gonna give the landlord $2,000 a month, give it to me mm -hmm. and let me find you a house. The fun part about finding a house is when you call Rob and go over, which is what you said, get Rob, get an approval. Mm -hmm. Rob's not gonna ask you for any money. Rob can do everything up front, no money. Yeah, okay. I mean, there may be a credit check, Okay. But then Rob can determine the best program to put you in, or a lender mm -hmm. can determine the best program to put you in that best fits your needs. Okay. Before coming to you. So after we've gotten all of that from Rob, and then we come to you, what is your next step? Well, I already know your budget now, because okay. you told the lender. Mm -hmm. And if it's a good lender, mm -hmm. the lender will say, Russ, don't go over 250. 250,000. Okay. Um, we need a three bedroom, two bath. We want a garage. And autumn is ready in the next 30 days. Okay. And then I start the process, my team starts the process of searching for a home that fits your needs. Okay. We put you in the computer system. The way we're set up, um, it's an auto email. Anytime a house like you want pops up in the system, you automatically get it. Mm -hmm. You see three or four and you go, oh, I want to look at those. <laughs> okay. And we meet and we look at those houses together. Where my team shines clearly, because people ask me, do I, should I buy new, should I buy pre-owned? Because we build and remodel, mm -hmm. I can look at a house and tell you what the bones are looking like. Wow. I, I, so unlike, and I'm always sensitive to this, unlike real tours that just sell and list real estate, mm -hmm. we do everything. Bob, my partner, is an incredible builder, remodeler. Mm -hmm. He can look at a house from the outside in, where we're looking at the house from inside out. So it's a, it's a very different approach okay. to how we find you a house, because we want you in a great house. Mm -hmm. We don't want to have any issues, because our business is based on referrals. And you don't stay in business for 49 years without getting referrals. Without getting referrals. And he, and he mentioned Bob, Bob the Builder, who is also going to be on here as well at times, so that, because um, we like to call in and ask questions. So at some sure. point, call in and ask questions. They may do it on social media. Whatever the case is, they may email you and ask the questions. Um, because now we have a realtor, now we have a builder. So I think this is kind of a total package well, now appreciate that. That, that we definitely will have here. So talk about um, selecting like the best neighborhood or the places, you know, the best neighborhood for buying. You know, how do we go about that process? Well, really, that, thank you. That's going to come from the, the buyer. Okay. They, they may need... Uh, there, there may be children, <clears throat> they may need a school system, mm -hmm. uh, different schools provide different services, uh, they, may be, they may want to be close to a religious center. Okay. Uh, so, so for us, it's, you know, what are your needs first? Okay. Now, if all those needs come together and <laughs> we're not at the budget range, okay. then we need to talk about the budget range and let me surprise the public. Okay. If we spent ten thousand dollars more, mm -hmm. or ten thousand dollars less, your payment would change by about a dollar a day. Ten thousand more, or ten thousand less. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you were looking at a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar house, you'd have a payment. Okay. If you fell in love with a two hundred and sixty thousand dollar house, you'd have the payment, but it would be a dollar a day different. Gotcha. One dollar. $1 so I tell people, if you fall in love with a house, let's work at getting the numbers where they fit your budget. Mm. Don't discard a house because you think it's $10,000 more than the one you fell in love with. Because on a house, unlike a car that's spread over 60 months or 72 months, mm -hmm. a home is spread over it's 30 not. years. Yeah, yeah. So there's not a lot of impact mm -hmm. other than the enjoyment of getting the house you want. Mm -hmm. And a part of that budget that you mentioned is also the down payment and what else, what other costs are associated with purchasing a house All right. in the beginning. So when you move into a house, the title company who controls everything, they search a title. Mm -hmm. So you're sure you're buying a house that's really owned by the individual that's selling it. Mm -hmm. That's a very important instrument. And we always choose a very reputable title company. Okay. Um, and while there is an expense to a title company, we negotiate that with the seller, because the seller wants you to buy the house 
so they often, often will pay for your title policy. Okay. So here are some expenses. You have a down payment. Okay. There may be a grant involved with the down payment, but you do have a down payment. You have closing costs, the cost to put the loan together, mm -hmm. just like when you bought your automobile and they yeah. sent it to the F&I people who put the paperwork together. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I just thought of this because it's just fun. <laughs> you sign more papers and do more paperwork to buy a car than you do to buy a house in Texas. Oh, wow, because you know the paperwork is kind of thick. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and in Texas, the contract is 11 pages. Wow. And what's fun about Texas, it's the same 11 pages whether you buy a $250,000 house or a $2,500,000 house. We all sign the same paperwork in Texas. I love it. I love it. So, so we it's don't have any hidden agendas nothing. or anything it's like that. It's a very stream. As I said, Texas wants you in the house. Mm -hmm. The system has been streamlined so that not only can you afford a house here in Texas, mm -hmm. you also enjoy the process of, of going through the it. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So what about um, owning multiple houses? Is the, the process kind of the same or if you want to be, if you want to be the landlord now mm -hmm. and own three or four houses, or do you take us through the same process? It's exactly the same process. Now the loan structure is different because investor loans are different than my loan or your okay. loan. Okay. Um, uh, but other than that, it's the, it's the same process. But you can help with, with that. Yeah, you know... It's an interesting business for us because we look at, at a house based on your needs, the owner's, the purchaser's needs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If we want to do a remodel, if we find a house that's remodeled, while it may just have paint on it and look perfect to you, <laughs> we see it much different because yeah. there's different kinds, and I'll use a term, a business term. Okay. Some remodelers put lipstick on a house, they just clean it up, Yeah. Mm -hmm. and some remodelers go studs out where they go into the walls, they might change the electrical. There's a lot of different ways to get a house ready to resell. Okay. We are the remodelers that don't do the lipstick. Okay. You know, we, we go to the studs, electrical, plumbing. We do all the things because we want you in the house for as long as you want to be in it. And we want the referral. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Clearly, we want the referral. So if we're looking at many houses and we see one that's been remodeled and you're ooh and absolutely in love with it, we're going to look at different things than you would look at. Mm -hmm. You're seeing all the sizzle, and we want to look at the steak. Gotcha. We want to see the bones of the house and make sure. You know, how do you know if it's a good house? Foundation. Well, we need to check a foundation. We're in Texas. Mm -hmm. um, if we find a house and my team is uncomfortable, but you love the house, we'll have foundation people go and check the house, not at your expense. Okay. Uh -huh, no. That's good. I was, oh, yeah. was going to ask, who's no. paying for that? No. Okay. We'll have foundation people go out. We have okay. electricians go out. We want to know about the house before we make an offer. So all that is in the, the inspection? The Long before the inspection. Okay. Okay. So the process is, thank you, Rob looks into the loan. Okay. Rob sends us the information. Mm -hmm. You give us your desire, your needs and wants. Okay. We look at neighborhoods based on your needs, okay. uh, whether it be, again, schools, religious needs, whatever they are, work needs, driving needs, distance needs, whatever your needs are, we will look at. We'll search in that area, we'll find homes. Then we look at homes together. We determine that they fit your budget, that they fit your payment budget, all the things that you're going to know up front. The only surprises we want, and Rob is included in this, it's why I love to do business with Rob. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. No bad surprises. Yeah. You're going to know the payment before you move into the house. That's key. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Now, let's say we don't like what's out there. Is this where Bob the Builder steps in? looking to build something that that's a, that's one way okay but in tech again texas in in a lot of states all you have to look at is pre-owned mm -hmm. you know the houses could be two or three hundred years yeah. old <laughs> but here in texas we have pre-owned mm -hmm. and we have builders that are building They're brand new building brand new mm -hmm. and the builders provide incentives for us to use through rob okay. to help you find the house so okay. Not only do we have pre-owns to look at, but we also have builds. And people go, well, can you find a new build house for $300,000 today? 
Absolutely. And so that's, that's something I didn't know that the builders also have incentives Absolutely. to get you to get the homes. Well, you know, we spend our day looking at car loans where they have special this and special that mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. you know, $1,500 off and da, 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 da. It's the same with builders. Mm -hmm. And what makes it exciting in Texas, there are so many builders, there's a lot of competition. There's a lot. And they all want you to move into their house. Yeah, yeah. So for us, it works out well because we'll have two or three different choices, not only just pre-owned. Mm -hmm. We may have choices for new as well. Mm -hmm. You know, there's something that I, that I learned from someone that because there are so many builders here and there's a lot of competition that they will just throw up a house meaning you could get into a house that's going to fall apart. Um, speak to that. Have you heard a lot about things like that happening? Uh, Autumn, we hear it all the time. Mm. But, but I have to tell you, um, while there are lots of home builders here, mm -hmm. uh, the majority, heavy majority, build great houses. Good. Like anything you and I can purchase in this country, there are some things that are not as good <laughs> as other things. Yeah. But builders by general, mm -hmm. because the cities do a lot of inspections. Okay. So while a builder may want to cut a corner, the city that the builder's building in, oh no. Wow. Oh no. So usually builders build in about 10 phases, 10 sections. Mm -hmm. So here we are, we set up the foundation. We're about to pour the foundation. You can't because the city wants to come out and inspect because once the concrete's there they can't see under it, can't see under it yeah. so the city's going to say to the builder oh no you cannot pour the concrete until I give you we call it a green tag yeah. a certificate so that you can move forward so a builder is building in phases and the cities and inspections can stop that builder at any time yeah that's good it's good to know we have that kind of covering, yeah, we, I, we really <laughs> that kind do. of backing, so that's good. Now I, I can take somebody to a house, same mm -hmm. price point, mm -hmm. one builder, and take the same person to a different builder, and they can see a difference in the quality, yes, mm -hmm. yes. But that would be in anything we buy. Anything. That's true. Anything. That's true. So it's our responsibility as the realtor team mm -hmm. to make sure we point out those things mm -hmm. that are high quality, so that when you move into a house, you're not going to have any issues. And I feel so comfortable. I feel really, really comfortable uh, with you, which is really important uh, to build the relationship with people so that we feel comfortable and that we will believe what you say, that you really do have our back. And of course, Rob Stern swears by him. <laughs> um, and uh, we've definitely been trusting Rob for many, many years. And some of our listeners probably have um, dealt with you as well. And uh, what we enjoy from Rob is that he gives testimonies as well. Can you think of something that's happened in this last year, a testimony of someone that just really warmed your heart? Well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> there are some things that just, you know, when you do the same thing for 40 plus years, mm -hmm. once in a while, you're overwhelmed with the reaction of people. Mm. And I say once in a while because people get excited to own a new home. Yeah. So you always feel that emotional excitement. Mm -hmm. But I had a veteran whose credit was not good, was um, overseas for a long time. And because of, of not being here, the deployment, sometimes credit takes some hits here. Mm -hmm. um, Rob worked with them, and by the way, so that you know, uh, one of many reasons I'm with Rob uh, Stern, as a very close lender relationship, if you're a veteran, I don't care what your credit scores are. Rob can get you a loan. And I cannot say that about every lender in this city. Wow. The lenders will say, well, you need 600 credits. Well, Rob doesn't <laughs> ask a veteran about that. About that, yeah. So yeah. here was a veteran, uh, several years uh, deployed, mm -hmm. comes back, um, has an issue with the apartment complex, all, all those things that happen mm -hmm. in apartments. Mm -hmm. Um, needs to move very quickly. Uh, wow. We met, uh, and quite frankly, uh, he was working as a server uh, in a restaurant. We met because he was a server mm -hmm. and I asked some questions. Um, he gave me his story. I gave him Rob's number. Mm -hmm. He and Rob connected. The loan was done in 10 days. Wow. And we had him in a house in 30. Wow. <laughs> so, so it wasn't just the veteran. Mm -hmm. It was the uh, six-month-old baby, mm -hmm. oh. and the, uh, all the oh, thing, wow. all the tug, uh, the heart things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
for a veteran that, that served this country and never dreamed they could get a house, mm -hmm. um, I would suggest to anybody in a situation, veteran, you need to call Rob. You, call. Yeah. You, you, you need to call Rob. First of all, there's no down payment for a veteran. Mm -hmm. So if I can negotiate the seller to pay your closing costs, you can move in for nothing. For nothing. And, and, and you deserve that. You're a veteran. You, you did what you did so that I could stay here and help people find houses. That's and that's just the way we think. Yeah, yeah. I love it. And that's the missing piece that, that we didn't get before, that um, if you can get the seller to uh, get the closing costs, then you can pretty much move in for nothing up front. <laughs> Especially as VA. Wow. And even a non-VA today with the special grants the city has, uh, Texas, mm -hmm. you have incredible opportunities to move into a house. Wow. Incredible. Wow. Well, there you have it. Texas really does want you in a house. Texas <laughs> wants all of us in a house. <laughs> so we learned that today, and I'm so excited about it. We're excited to have you, Russ, and we're excited uh, when we get the chance to talk to Bob as well, um, because this is what the American dream, I Absolutely. guess, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and, and Bob, <laughs> Bob will help you all uh, if you're in a house and there's, there, you know, you need to winterize it. You need, there's things you can do to a house. Mm -hmm. Bob will talk about not only housing, but the way to keep your housing, your home, looking spectacular year after year after oh, year. Good. Very simple, simple things simple you can steps. do, simple steps. Wow, I love it. So um, now when it comes to selecting a home, uh, what about HOA? Fees is that something that is included in with you know that you're paying each year? You paying it to them is included in the loan? Is that possible to do that? How does that work? All right. Well, HOA fees aren't included in the loan; they're usually separate. Okay. So years ago, years and years and years ago, uh, a lot of neighborhoods, new neighborhoods, started enacting an HOA, a homeowners association, because they wanted the value of the neighborhood to continue to rise. Mm -hmm. We only hear the negative side of HOAs, yeah. <laughs> uh, but if you're in a neighborhood um, and, and you don't want a semi-tractor trailer parked in your front yard, <laughs> HOAs have value. Yeah. They seriously have value. Um, and like anything else, there can be times that HOAs are not fun, mm -hmm. but, they're in, but their mindset is to protect the value of the neighborhood. Yeah. Also remember that there are hundreds, thousands of neighborhoods that have no HOA. Yeah, yeah. All right. there's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> and you can usually tell that by driving down the street, you see a bunch of houses, and all of a sudden you see a purple one in the middle of the neighborhood. You <laughs> can like, tell, yeah. What? There's yes. no HOA here. Uh, or the yard is six and a half feet tall. That's where an HOA can be a benefit. Yeah. That, that, that's all. That's um, so while we hear positives and negatives, uh, and, and while I'm not positive or negative either way, if somebody says to me, I want a house, but I don't want an HOA, then we'll find a neighborhood without okay. an HOA. That's Very good. simple. That's good. And the way the payment structure is here, you make your monthly payments. Mm -hmm. This is the way Rob sets people up. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. You make one payment. Mm -hmm. one. one. The house is paid for. Mm -hmm. The taxes are paid for. Mm -hmm. The homeowner's insurance is paid for. Mm -hmm. Everything is made in one payment. And the HOA is separate, mm -hmm. and usually HOAs are collected either quarterly, mm -hmm. semi-annually, or annually. Or annually. Okay. And you know that up front. Yeah, okay. That's good. So good. So you know all of the information up front. Up front. So I, I love that. Well, we thank you so very much. Um, we're kind of running out of time now for this segment. But go ahead and give everybody your information on how to get in touch with your office, how to get in touch with you. My name is Ross Ambers. My number, and I'll give you my cell, it's my pleasure, is 972-839-0569. I'm an agent, licensed agent with Keller Williams. Um, we are at Dallas area. We work Dallas and Fort Worth. Actually, we're in the system anywhere in Texas. So if you have a question about a house in Houston, we can help you anywhere. Um, the quickest way would be my cell or I'm Russ Ambers at Gmail. Just my name, no underscores, no dots, R-U-S-S-A-M-B-E-R-S -S -S at Gmail. And I will gladly return your call or return your email. Clearly, my pleasure. Awesome.